part of me that wanted us to just make her happy. Maybe I'll get her later. Maybe in the future she'll change her mind. Maybe if I hang out with her for three months, six months, a year, she'll be she'll finally drop her guard and see what a great guy I am. Because that's what every nice guy's doing, isn't he? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at what to do when a woman says to you, let's just be friends. Um, I haven't covered this in a while, so it's kind of fun to get back to and really talk about it. But, um, but that happens to a lot of guys, especially as they're learning. When they're first learning and they're first working on getting good with women, and maybe they've never been good with women, and you just start dating, you just start figuring out how to get dates, you're gonna run into a lot of women that just say, let's be friends. Now, I have different answers for this. In the beginning, when that happens, I have one answer. And later on, when you get actually good with women and a woman says that to you on occasion, I have a different answer, okay? So we're talking about the guy who's just working on this for the first time right now. So when the guy that's just working on it uh, gets that, and let's say you've already got a lot of female friends. Maybe you have too many because you're a nice guy. Maybe you have lots of girls that like to hang out with you. Then my answer would be no. See, when I'm first working on becoming really good with women, more female friends is not what I need. I don't need to hang around, with, especially if I'm a nice guy. I don't need to be hanging around being nice to a bunch of extra women in my life. See, what I'm creating time for right now is dating. And if she doesn't want to date, I want to move on. You see, when I first started doing this and I started learning to say no to women, it triggered every part of my nice guy syndrome, every part of my part of me that wanted to just make her happy. Maybe I'll get her later. Maybe in the future she'll change her mind. Maybe if I hang out with her for three months, six months, a year, she'll be, she'll finally drop her guard and see what a great guy I am. Because that's what every nice guy's doing, isn't he? So I didn't want to do that anymore. I, I reached this point where I realized to truly shift out of this nice guy syndrome and be a real man, a man that's honest and full of integrity, I had to be honest with her. I had to be really honest with her. And this pissed some women off, but the funny part was they all ended up respecting me for it. You see, what I started doing and what I've uh, counseled other people into doing was just saying, no, I'm not interested in friends right now. I have a lot of female friends. I'm not interested in more female friends. You're really cool. And, and if I had time to hang out with you, that would be great. But right now I'm looking to date. I'm looking to get to meet more women and really explore this area of my life. And if I told you that I just wanted to be your friend, I would be lying to you. Matter of fact, all I would be doing is hanging out with you in hopes that someday you'll change your mind. And I would be manipulating you. And that's not cool for you or for me. So I'd rather just be honest with you and tell you, no, I don't really want a female friend. I'm attracted to you. And that's not going to change. I'm gonna stay attracted to you. So if you hang out with me, no, I'm probably gonna be hitting on you. I'm probably going to be flirting with you and you have to be okay with that because I want to be honest. And do you see the power of what I just said? Do you see the power of how I just said it? You got to say it with that same tone, that matter of fact, this is who I am tone. And do you see the power of letting women go? If they're saying, well, then I can't be friends with you. I can't believe you won't be friends with me. I can't, can't be friends with you. And you letting them walk away. That is so powerful. It teaches you to let go and move on and find somebody else. But the funny thing is that I've seen this work where a lot of women have actually, not all of them, but some of them have turned around and come back and started dating the guy because he was so solid in his statement. Matter of fact, one guy I counseled into doing this. He said it to a woman who wanted to just be friends. She ended up becoming his girlfriend for almost a year after that because uh, she said, first thing she said was, I don't know, I'm not sure, I can't believe you don't want to be friends. Next thing you know, they're out hanging out again. Next thing you know, she's all over him because he was so honest and so real. And uh, so I want to ask you, do you really want to be this woman's friend? And if you don't, be honest with her and be real and don't be afraid to upset her. That's your first step out of the nice guy syndrome. Now, what if you're good with women and this already happens? You're starting to get good, you're dating a lot of women, and you meet this woman. She comes along, she's pretty freaking cool. And maybe she just got out of a relationship. She's like, I'm not looking for a guy right now. Can we just be friends? In that case, I would say, yeah, 
I've got plenty of women in my life. I'm dating like crazy. You know what? You're really cool. I'd love to hang out with you. Matter of fact, you can introduce me to some of your friends and we'll just be friends. Turn the tables on her and say, come on, take her out and use her to meet other women. Like, let's go flirt with this girl. Help me meet this girl. Because every guy that's good with women, once he gets good, should have some good looking female friends that he can hang out with because it's just plain healthy at that point. And you do meet a lot of other women that way. And they will introduce you to a lot of women. And oftentimes, a little bit down the road, they'll just get attracted to you because you're a solid dude anyways. And if you really like her, you can move it forward later. But if you're a nice guy doing that, it, they never get attracted to you because you haven't worked out the ability to say no and be a solid man first. So that's my answer. In the beginning, it's no. And later, sure, why not? If you really want to be. And uh, I'm gonna encourage you to ultimately play with both. Figure out where you're at and play with the one that makes the most sense for you, okay? And uh, what I want you to do after that is I want you to comment below and let me know what happens. Let me know where you're at, which type of guy you are, and then when you do this, what happens when you do it? And uh, I think it's not only gonna be beneficial to uh, you, but I think it's gonna be beneficial for all the people reading the comments in the future. They're gonna learn a lot from your experiences. And with that said, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and then make sure to subscribe. And remember, only the confident really lives. See you in the next video.